Breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB reviews why Buhari revoked his decision on Inam Dekano's release. IPOB reviews why Buhari revoked his decision on Unnam Dekano's release. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. IPOB has opened up on why President Muhammad Buhari nullified his decision to release Unnam Dekano. Info Expert 24 reports that IPOB revealed that some saboteurs and foreign-based traitors within its ranks are the ones forcing the president not to release Unnam Dekano. The reaction follows. A recent statement by President Buhari during an interview where he said that he would not interfere in the judicial process, but that the IPOB leader should rather answer the allegations leveled against him. This was made in a statement on Sunday issued by IPOB's media and Publicity Secretary, Mr. Ima Powerful, where he claimed that the alleged supporters and traitors held a meeting with Buari and advised the president not to release un, not to release Unam de Kano. IPOB in the statement also claimed that the enemies of the freedom struggle after meeting the president in Asorok misinformed him that the separatist organization and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, had been defeated. The group, who asked the president to reconsider he stands on the release of Unam Dikanu, advised him not to be deceived by what it described as black legs and sacked members of the movement who are feeding him with fake information about IPOB and ESN for pecuniary interest. What IPOB is saying in the statement? IPOB, in its statement, warned the federal government against the dangers of its continuous interruption with the judicial processes in the case against Kanu, saying if it was sure of its allegations against the IPOB leader, it should not be afraid of allowing the court to operate freely and independently. The statement from IPOB partly reads, Our intelligence captured what transpired at a meeting between the saboteurs and the president in Asorok. In the meeting, these traitors concluded with the presidency that Kano should not be released, claiming erroneously thought that IPOB and the ESN have been defeated which are lies. Our attention has also been drawn to the statement by President Buari that he will not release our leader, Mazi Unamdi Kanu. We know that his new posture by Buari. After he had earlier promised a delegation of Igbo leaders, that he would look at their appeal to consider a political solution for Kano.
was not unconnected with the visit by some foreign-based traitors and enemies of our struggle. But we want to tell Buhari that he is going to make a mistake capable of consuming Nigeria should he fail to release Kano. Because this bunch of criminals he had a meeting with were not giving him correct information about IPOB and ESN outfit. Why should the federal government be releasing bandits and terrorists wrecking havoc across the country, but fail to release freedom seekers? If they have a case against him, let them come straight to the court and stop coming from the back door. The group said, if the federal government remained neutral and allowed the judicial processes to flow freely, Khan was capable of defending himself in the court. Going further, the group said, Kano and IPOB will defeat them both at local and international court. The only thing that can save Nigeria is a referendum date for the people of Biafra because the world is keenly watching. IPOB is too big for them to comprehend and they could not phantom IPOB and its operational strategy 